Oke, okay, bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good afternoon viewer. Back with me Wildan Hamjani on Tuesday, 19 October 2017. And I will accompany you for a few minutes ahead on our breaking news to speed the news that actual, sharp and reliable. And I was in Pesantren Darunajah right now. And the news today is about courtesy visit of the participant of Conference Religion Journalism Reporting Religion in Asia at Pesantren Darunajah Jakarta, Indonesia. This agenda is brought together, uh, pardon me. This agenda calls the brought together of 15 countries in Asia and they are sharing their stories in tips about how difficult to combine and how to find the best way to cover religion. And this agenda is also discussed about best practice in religion reporting because the participants are realized that the conference religion is very challenging for general report. It's very certificate issue and if they don't care, they can create more attention between their communities. So this agenda is so important for journalists to understand when the report religion have to be very careful and beside me, there is someone who will be interviewing and I will be interviewing Mr. Andy M. Bayuni as the editor in chief, the Jakarta Post in Indonesia, and Mr. Douglas Tut as the chair of the International Association Religion Journalists. Uh, I'm Andy Bayuni, I'm editor in chief of the Jakarta Post, and I'm also executive director of the International Association of Religion Journalists. And this organization, uh, we just held a conference on religion journalism with the team reporting religion in Asia. We were very, very impressed. Uh, we, were, we, were, we did not expect such a warm welcome. The dance, the, the displays, uh, and of course the, the Pak Kiai, uh, both of them are very warm. Uh, we are very impressed. This is a very, be very beautiful school, very modern, and we learned about the values that the school is teaching uh, and we learn about some of the uh, alumni that have gone into important key positions uh, in, in government and in private sector. My name is Douglas Todd, I'm from Vancouver, Canada. I'm the uh, chair of the International Association of Religion Journalists, which we started five years ago, and we've had six conferences around the world to bring religion writers together to talk about uh, reporting on religion, which can be quite difficult sometimes. And this is our sixth conference, and it's the best one we've ever had. It's been very well organized by the people in Indonesia and my friend Andy. It's to be, we've brought together 50 journalists from 15 countries in Asia who write about religion and we kind of sharing stories and tips on how difficult it can be and also the best way to cover religion and that's we're showing respect and uh, accuracy and fairness and balance which means bringing in a lot of different views into each story so that everybody gets uh, represented fairly and accurately. And the people, I was very, I've been very impressed with the journalists at the conference, how sophisticated they are. They know, they talk about the same kind of issues we do, how to be, uh, how to have dialogue, how to be pluralistic, um, and how to respect all sorts of faiths, even when controversial things are happening. So I was, generally, I'm very impressed by how sophisticated people are here. I thought the boarding school would just be a quiet place where, uh, Everybody just sits quietly in their classrooms, but we had a very enthusiastic and boisterous and entertaining uh, welcome. And it's very modern school. I'm so uh, impressed with kind of how happy people are and, uh, and that they're getting a really broad education in religion, but also in science and technology and journalism and psychology, somebody is going, and uh, languages. I didn't know that uh, you'd be teaching Arabic here. That's because a lot of I understand not that many Indonesians speak Arabic, but you do here, so that's that's amazing. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, I am Wildan Hamdani and crew. We serve the same farewell. And don't forget to subscribe our own channel YouTube, Darunaja TV. Thank you very much. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.